Consider the Nautilus's form, if you crack open the hard outer casing that is. Depending on how you look at it, its shell is either an ever-increasing or decreasing chambered spiral, its shape unaltered with each successive curve. The twisting walls along this spiral make what's known as a fractal pattern, and that pattern is a kind of equation occurring all around us in nature. Romanesco broccoli, salt flats, lightning, snowflakes, clouds, mountains, peacock feathers, ferns, waterfalls, and of course, nautiluses. So what makes a pattern fractal? Imagine a tree in a park, the whole tree, now a branch. It's like a smaller version of the tree, right? Okay, what about a branch on the branch? It's like an even smaller version of a tree, and on and on. A fractal pattern finds consistency in randomness. Therefore, a tree can be divided into parts, and each successive part is a very similar, sometimes identical, reduced copy of the whole. A fractal is potentially never-ending, created by repeating a simple process over and over and over and over. That's why you find fractals in movies, so CGI of impossible things are easier to make. For example, the Genesis planet sequence in Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. The fractal technique here is a form of controlled randomness, which adds a natural light -like complexity to simulated scenes. Researchers, too, are now using fractal geometry to build models to find microscopic patterns of diseases and abnormalities earlier than ever before. Fractals can create and fractals can predict. There are fractals all over. over, and over.